What's up all? Today I want to show you how to restore your trim. Uh, this is my 2000 Xterra. I just want to show you what the trim looks like. It's obviously all plastic over here. This metal is plastic. Um, these are heavily plastic cars. You can see along here, lots and lots of plastic. So along the sides is not that much, but the bumpers are, as you can tell, super faded. They're not supposed to be like a light gray color, it's supposed to be a much, much darker color. Um, to be honest, since these are plastic and or metal, this is plastic, that's metal. Um, I'm going to coat them right now, but you can paint them. But I'm going to see first if I can coat them, see what kind of results I can get out of it before I go a little further. So obviously there's plastic all over here and through the front. All right, so what I'm gonna be using today is Turtle Wax Trim Restore. I'm just gonna use a microfiber and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna to try to do it 50-50 right now just to see what I can get out of it. So you can pour a little bit on there. Obviously that's a little bit much, but I just wanna see what I get. <laughs> so far, nothing. This one's pretty bad. This one's super, super faded up here. This is not going to get anything, honestly. It's just making it look shiny, <laughs> which is not great. This will probably show a lot more. Yeah, like here. I'm trying to get 50 50 on this. There's not a lot of product left. Use all of it. Alright, so I'm just going to pop it back open. Ideally, you'll have two hands if you're smart. I currently have the one. This, you know what I think. Alright, so you just kind of rub it all on. Let me get underneath here. Like I said, I'm trying to get a 50 50 just to get an idea of what this is going to look like. For a car like this that's super heavily plasticky, you're going to need a lot of this and a lot of time. So for cars like your Nissan Element, Xterra, Avalanche, all those heavily plasticky cars in the 90s. This really brings back a bit of luster. Okay, so it's a little bit of progress compared to that. It's definitely shiny. It won't stay this shiny. Uh, it'll fade quite a bit with weather and whatnot. But like I said, I just want to see what kind of results I'm going to get before I end up painting all this. Because the grill, as you can see, I coated it, it's it's done nothing. I have to paint this entire grill. It'd be so much easier for me to just pull it out and just paint it, which I'm gonna do anyways. All these little crevices. up a little bit on this side and I'll show you my 50 50 when I'm done right, spots like this is where it's gonna get really satisfying because you look how bad it is here <laughs> see how bad it's connected also <laughs> this is a new truck so don't judge me I gotta change all these body panels A big part of doing this is prep. You really want to make sure all this is clean before you do it because you're going to kick up a whole lot of garbage. Which, even though I literally just washed my car, it's happening. So this truck was not washed a lot. It's a new acquisition for me. And on, this is also going to come out really good. Uh, a lot of these cow panelings really come out nice. So I'm just going to finish up down here. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like compared to here. You can tell there's significantly more, I forget the sunlight, significantly more shine on the passenger side than the driver's side. The driver's side is really dull, really faded. Like I said, this thing is not coming out. I'm gonna have to pull the grill out and paint it because the grill looks pretty, pretty bad. 
probably gonna have to get some kind of gray paint to match everything, but I'll do that. And as you can see, side over here. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna coat one whole side of the truck and another side just to give you a good 50-50, and I will get back to you once that's done. All right, so I went over half the truck just to give you guys an idea of what's going on. So if you look at the one side, it's really faded, really dull. Um, the side I've treated as a much nicer luster. Um, treated all the way down here on the front fascia. It's not going to dry necessarily with this sheen. It's going to be a lot flatter eventually, you know, once it settles, if it rains, all kinds of stuff. But it's going to have a much richer color than the one on the right. So if you look over here, what I'll show you, I treat it down here and whatnot, and then I'm going to show you compared to the opposite side, what a large difference it is. Because these parts come out nice, but if you look at it compared to the non-existent flap here, um, I can show you the flap here, it's very gray, you know, behind the driver's wheel. This is also really gray as well. really fade. Anything that's exposed to the sun is really going to fade, especially if it's plastic. So if you look at that side, and the cowl looks much nicer over here. The cowl looks a lot more faded here. As you can tell, like I said, prep is important, so I'd want to clean this a little bit better before I actually treat it. And then if you're looking at this mirror, it's just a bit more dull. It'll show a lot more scratches over here, but once you coat it, sometimes it fills a little bit of the scratches in. So it actually looks a lot better. And then you can see, like I said, this side is all gray. So I'm gonna end up doing this. The biggest 50-50 you can see is gonna be the back, where it looks like two total different colors. So the part on top, this is plastic. The actual bumper itself is metal, but you can still coat it and you can tell it's in a color. Realistically, you probably want to paint all this because this is kind of temporary, but if you really don't want to, like small things like this, you don't necessarily have to paint, you gotta pull it out. This I should have done a 50-50, but this will come out really nice once it's done. But the bumper, I mean, it's like night and day difference as far as color is concerned. This is way, way darker versus this. It's, you know, that's light gray compared to a dark gray. As you can see, I didn't use a tremendous amount of product here. So this is kind of what it's gonna end up looking like when it settles and dries. But it looks a lot better. It makes your car look a lot more modern for really what it takes, like 30 minutes. Uh, like I said, I use the Turtle Wax Trim Restore. You can use one or two microfibers. Maybe wear gloves if you like, because you don't want to touch your eyes with this kind of stuff. Uh, it'll burn and uh, it'll explode. So yeah, looks a lot better. I'm going to finish up the truck. And if you guys have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. Bye.